Right, welcome back. Well, I went to Walmart and bought a gun rest, finally, a rifle rest. It's a Winchester sharpshooter rifle rest. Um, it was about 30, well, well, yeah, about 30 bucks approximately. Um, I, I, having put it together and stuff, it's not super impressive in quality or um, it's it's not a bad gun or uh, a shooting rest as far as I can tell. Definitely more for lighter weight work such as um, 22s. I'm going to try it out with a, a 223 and then up to an AK and if depending on how it performs I might go a little bit larger. Uh, definitely not anything too heavy. The gun rest itself is not very heavy. It, the adjustability on it is kind of cool. But more than specifically, the instructions on this are not great. Um, let me just show you. That's it. One page, just a bunch of uh, pictures, that's all. And the picture does not match all the parts. So I had to figure it out. So basically what this video is going to be mostly of is rather just demonstrating how this bad boy works and fits together and going from there. So I'm going to take it apart get back and, and basically work through the, the pieces and let you see how we put it together. Okay, um, the front arm is already assembled so you shouldn't have to worry about much with that. The rear arm, obviously you just hook in your your rifle clamp. Um, the leather piece loops over it with the back sticking like that. Um, you'll just screw in the base leg and then this is the adjustment screw for the height on this guy so you can tighten it and loosen it so that it that works accordingly. Um, on your front section, once again the legs on either side, just put your rubber nubs on them. Put your bolts in the front to hold these two pieces like so. And then you had a couple leftover parts that were a little bit harder to manage and work with. So this is where it starts to come into place. So what you'll do is you'll supply or you, you'll slide your front end on like that. From there Let's see. Sorry about that. I had a dog scratching on the door and it was going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit hard to focus with that going on. So, anyway, from there, you take these two knobs, okay? You screw them through this center hole on either side. So that's going to, I'm going to pause and you'll come back and you'll see them inserted. Okay, so now these knobs are inserted. Now you've got these two little legs and these are nothing like the photograph. Um, so there's a little bit of work that you'll need to do into this just to get it to work. The way that these work here is they'll attach into the front with the small end um, with this little guy. It's got two bolts on either side those so you'll stick this through here on the little slat this will attach there and then that allows you to do a quick rise likewise this particular piece has a bolt underneath this will slide through this center piece like so and my suggestion is to actually pre-attach one of these it also comes with a bolt on either end so here's how I suggest you do it you take the fat the fat hole obviously there, screw in this bolt. That pre-starts it so that you don't have to worry about dropping this piece in the internals. Lock that in. Then you hook in the other, you know, your other piece here on the other side. You'll tighten that down as best you can anyway. Okay. Once that's in there, you take this knob, line up the hole, and you can do that before you test the other side just in case, but basically that screws into that piece, and that's what allows you to do the fine tuning. You'll screw this wind all the way, and then underneath, attach this washer to the bottom. And then with these final two pieces here, like I said, you'll take this silver rod, stick it through, Slide this round piece right through there, that, there you go, and attach the, the nut on either side, so both of these. 
And what that does for you, just as a quick demonstration, is when you raise up the mount, like so, that locks it into an elevated position. Um, I'm going to sew these parts. I would definitely suggest getting um, a wrench and lock, um, tightening down a little bit better. Also, probably a little bit of Loctite on some of the parts that you don't want to come loose ever. So, I'm going to go do that, and then when we come back, you'll see the finished product, product again. All right, here is the finished project. Um, everything's been put together, Loctited all the parts, gave it a chance to sit for a bit. So then as you can see, this knob, when installed correctly, you know, let me lower this so you can see it a little bit better. When it's installed correctly, it allows you to raise, I don't know if you can tell that or not, but it's raising up. And that gives you some fine tuning capabilities. And then these two front ones out there installed will allow you up to two higher positions. Of course, you can adjust the back height or elevation of your rifle with the adjustment knob there. And then, of course, your stand itself can be leveled based on the, these positions here. With this stand, um, definitely going to use some, some shooting bags on it to weigh it down a little bit more because it is very lightweight. And I think that will definitely pose a problem when we get into shooting anything heavier, i.e. the 223 or even the AK, if we can pull it off. We'll see. Um, but we'll see how well it does in the show and figure out if it was worth the 30 bucks or not, and I'll let you know. But this mostly was just to show and demonstrate how to assemble it. Like I said, the instructions were not very good, and so after I figured it out, I looked online to see if anybody else had, and not a whole lot of information, so hopefully this will help anybody else who's out there looking for information on how to build this guy and get it working. So thanks so much, and uh, we'll hopefully have something new for you soon. Uh, plan on going shooting sooner than later, went and got a ton of ammo, so we'll see what happens. Thanks so much.